The temperatures are getting a little cold for a scoop of ice cream, but what about a scoop of cookie dough? Cookie dough that is safe to eat by the scoop? Now that's a dream come true. Christine is at Clinton's Soda Fountain in Independence for us this morning. Christine, you're with the chef who makes this stuff. How does he make sure it's safe to eat? I know this is the guy right here. Bobby Stearns is with us. The reason is there are no eggs, so you don't have to worry. And the best part about this, you don't need to be hiding in your kitchen, taking a spoonful when nobody's looking. Like you can eat this in public yeah. and people won't judge you. This is great. Yeah, we sell it here, uh, Clinton Soda Dr uh, Drug Fountain here on the Independence Square. And um, I'm going to make some of the cookie dough for you guys right now. And it's pretty easy. You kind it's of super easy. make it like you would cookie dough in general at your house, right? Yeah, you just um, start off with the butter. We're going to cream it with the sugar. And it's just like you would make regular cookie dough, except without the eggs and without the baking soda. So you just put in some butter, uh -huh. and you're putting in some brown sugar in yep, now. Brown sugar next. You kind of helped come up with this recipe. How many different recipes do you think you guys tried before you figured this one out? Um, quite a few, because you have to get the right amount of milk in it so that um, the moisture stays with the cookie dough so it doesn't dry out um, in place of the eggs. Uh -huh. And we've made a, a lot of different variations of the cookie dough, cookies and cream, uh, snickerdoodle, chocolate chip, lots of different kinds we played with, uh, birthday cake, uh -huh. just to name a few, um, before we like found the right consistency that we wanted that would scoop and also go good with the ice cream and everything else you want to pair with it. So, Yum. Yeah. All right, so we have the butter, brown sugar. Do you kind of let that go first? Yeah, you want to cream it up and uh, let it incorporate really nicely here, and then we're going to add the regular sugar. Uh -huh. We use brown sugar and regular sugar. Oh. The molasses with the brown sugar helps cream it a little bit. Nice. And I think it gives it a little bit more flavor. And you said people can actually do this at home too oh, yeah, if they want to. Easy. Super easy. You're sharing all your the, secrets for the, free? Of course. Then we're going to add the wow. flour. Okay. You want to kind of slowly add that so it doesn't go everywhere like we were talking about. Uh huh. And then you want to scrape the sides of the bowl over here. Uh huh. And it's going to be kind of dry and stick together, uh -huh. and then you're gonna slowly add the milk, which we have added a little bit of vanilla to, too. And you said this milk and a little bit of vanilla is yeah. the trick to not using eggs. That's gonna keep it creamy? Yep. Exactly. What happens if you don't, like, add that or add enough or too um, much? It's gonna be really dry, and it's not gonna be, not gonna be the consistency that you want, and not the smooth texture on your tongue that you get when you're eating cookie dough normally. So obviously, if it's too dry, you add more. What happens if you add too much? What's your go-to ingredient here to fix this? A little bit of flour and a little bit more sugar. Okay. Those two will fix it real easy. Just regular sugar, not the brown uh -huh. sugar. Or the, a little bit more flour helps too. You just kind of slowly add this in here. Are making this look very easy, it's and I'm so gonna easy. I'm gonna trust you, but things like this never turn out at my no, own it's home. Super easy. And then how long do you kind of let this go? Um, I'd say about three or four minutes. Okay. And then we'll scrape it a couple more times, and then um, when it gets all incorporated in the consistency we want and the sugar is dissolved and creamed with the butter, we are ready to go. This is kind of the base. You can add anything you want to it. White chocolate chips, peanuts. Don't don't pecans. share what we're gonna add. This is a secret. We're not gonna so. we're not gonna tell just yet. So we're gonna let him kind of do his magic to this cookie dough, which he says is easy. Yeah, right. Um, and we're gonna add the ingredients and then finally show you what kind of cookie dough we're making this morning. Christine, you make a mistake, you just eat the mistake. It's a no-brainer. That would be my problem. I'd be like, oop, wrong batch, kids. Sorry, I got to try this. Let's do another one. Oh Sorry.